Hey guys, Metal Viking 82 here, back with a new Viking Orations. Got another review for you today, and this time around, I'm going to be talking to you about the debut full length album from the band Carnal Ruin, entitled Soulless I Remain. Out now on Redefining Darkness Records. And if you are not familiar with Carnal Ruin, they are a death metal band from Tampa, Florida, been around since 2018, featuring Vincent Dibana. Hopefully I said your last name right. Uh, if not, I apologize. On guitars, uh, Tony Cappadalupo on guitars and vocals. Again, if I said your name wrong, I apologize. Uh, Jared Austin on the bass, and finally, Austin Good on the drums. Uh, as I said, this is their debut full-length album. It is nine tracks, just a little under 40 and a half minutes in length. Um, unfortunately, though, the band, after uh, this album came out, uh, you know, they announced this pri uh, prior to it even being released that they are splitting up this year, pretty much making this their debut and their swan song all in one package, which really sucks because i mean i've been a fan of this band for a while now and i uh, have really enjoyed all their material up uh to this point so when they announced uh, you know a debut fully thumb i couldn't wait to hear it but of course that announcement that that they were going to be splitting up upon the album's release definitely uh, makes this bittersweet but in my opinion this band is going out on a high note um, yeah, the guitars on here have that Swedish death metal tone to them, heavy buzzsaw sounding, mostly hitting you with these kind of mid-paced riffs, uh, though it does have some uh, slower sections in there and some really nice guitar solos throughout. Um, actually, the uh, lead-off track, The Evening Redness in the West, has a serious doom death vibe to it in terms of the pacing of that song you would almost think that's how the whole album is going to play out but pretty much after that uh it goes all mid pace a little bit faster and then it does have some kind of slower moments but it's mostly mid pace throughout um really thick tone bass though not really high up in the mix it kind of instead tends to uh, work in tandem with the guitars to build that nice wall of heaviness but you can still pick it out as you're listening to the album, um, though, when you get to track number four, Torn from Stasis, the opening gives you a really good idea of the tone that they got for the bass on the album. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, as the bass kind of does a slide in, has a, a brief moment to kind of shine on its own over some guitar feedback before the guitars fully kick in. And then you get into track number seven, Shrouds of Suffering, at about the 338 mark. Suddenly, the bass kind of gets more forward in the mix, I notice. And it's kind of, I think they do it because it kind of almost does like a bass solo of sorts um, at this particular moment before kind of settling back in at the 358 mark uh, to kind of work in tandem with the guitars like it has throughout the rest of the album. Uh, solid drum production on here, in my opinion. Very powerful sounding. I love the kick drum sound, especially on here. Uh, some nice patterns, rolls and fills. Great blast beats, and I love the double bass work on here. Uh, vocally, you get a really powerful mid-range growl. Very intelligible, and he mixes it with some nice, nasty-sounding screams to kind of break it up a little bit. Uh, the only other thing I've kind of noted on here, track number three, Immortalis. The opening riff of that song um, really reminded me of intestine balism. I just really got a intestine balism vibe off of that riff. And that same type of riff, again, uh, comes into the song at about the 333 mark. So, yeah, that was kind of cool because intestine balism is just an amazing band, as is Carnal Ruin. Um, overall... While listening to this album, I definitely got some Valenfire uh, vibes while listening to this thing. It's got that heavy, chunky guitar tone. Um, it definitely reminded me of them at times. And, you know, still, in my opinion, I think this is an absolutely solid album uh, from start to finish. I really hate to see these guys calling it quiz because, you know, all the band members are going to be moving to different states, I guess, from what I remember from the Facebook post. So, you know, instead of trying to do the whole thing of, you know, sending files here and there and everyone trying to make, you know, they figure it's probably best to just, you know, call it quits. And, um, you know, I can't blame them for that. I'm sure that is a pain in the ass to do. But uh, I can definitely say they should be proud to go out on such a high note because, to, in my opinion, they have crafted one hell of an album 
you know, job well done, guys, and best of luck to you in all of your future endeavors. I give this a solid 9 out of 10. Go check out Carnal Ruin. I will leave a link down below so you can check it out for yourself and pick up a copy. Uh, hopefully, I will be getting my uh, copy of the CD before too long. So, yeah, that is going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. And until next time, stay brutal.